Hey guys, welcome to the Draki series here. This is Jason and welcome to a Minecraft Redstone tutorial for you guys today. Uh, within this tutorial, I'm going to show you something that's pretty simple. It's quite a simple premise, but it can be quite useful. And you can apply the things that you will learn within this tutorial in many other areas of Redstone. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to make a light switch within Minecraft using a toggle system right here. But uh, this is in Minecraft 1.16.5 and I'm on the Java edition. And just before I show you guys the tutorial, I just want to remind you guys that I do lots of different Minecraft content. So if you do enjoy the video, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. But yeah, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make a light switch within Minecraft. So not a light switch like this, where you can turn a light on temporarily. But I've actually got a little system here that allows you to activate a button like so. And the light will actually turn on. And stay on. So it's now actually toggled on. The light will actually stay on forever now. But if I press the button again, the light will now turn off. So that is why I'm considering this as a light switch, because it has an on and off state. But it's actually surprisingly easy to make one of these. And you don't only need to place it within a wall right here. You can also place it in the floor if you tweak the design a little bit. But I'm only going to show you guys this design right here. Now, as you guys can see, the circuitry isn't that complicated. It's only in little pieces and it's fairly simple to make. How this system actually works is the button for the system is just behind this block right here. And as you can see, we have a repeater so that we can actually get the charge through the wall right here. We then have it, we have this uh, little system right here. This is the dropper and hopper toggle circuit or the T flip flop as it's commonly called. And this system allows you to toggle the system. So if this comparator is turned on or activated, the system is on. If it is off, then the system is off. And as you can see, this wire goes directly to this repeater, which goes into this system right here. And that basically activates this, uh, this hopper and dropper circuit right here. And the rest is just normal wiring and a redstone pillar and stuff like that. So if I show you guys manually right here, if I activate the system manually, you'll see that if I activate the system once, the comparator turns on and this wire is actually turned on on top. If we then activate the system again, you'll see that the comparator turns off and the wire up here actually turns off as well. Now the reason why this comparator turns off is basically an item gets uh, deposited within this dropper right here when the system is activated or deactivated. Um, if I actually activate the system again for you right here, you'll see that a an item has actually been deposited within this dropper right here. And then if I activate it again, you'll see that the item has now been taken away and it is now inside this dropper right here. So it's a pretty simple thing and I'm now going to show you guys how to make it. So this is how you make it guys. I'm just going to set up a few things. So we're going to use this block to actually power this la this like redstone lamp right here. I'm going to place a block here because the button is directly like on the other side of this block right here. We're going to want to place a redstone repeater like so. And then we then need to make a little two by three platform like this. And then we need to go three more along like so. Uh, what you then need to do is you then need to um, get it so that there is a comparator right here. You then need to place a dropper that's facing in the other direction like so. You then need a dropper that's facing upwards. And then you also need a dropper facing this way. You then need to get a hopper and have the hopper face downwards. 
You are then going to want so that you have an item uh, in one of these uh, droppers right here. I like to put the item in this central dropper right here. Once you have done that, you can then place a repeater right here. So this is your input into the toggle system right here. We then are going to connect it to the button. And then the only thing we now need to do is connect the toggle system to the light. And how I like to do that is I like to use a redstone torch um, tower right here, like so. And then all you then need to do is uh, follow this over so that you can actually get the power over to the button, like so. And that, guys is it that is literally it if i activate the system manually right here you'll see that we can actually toggle the system on and the light is on right here if we then toggle the system again the light is actually off so that's it for the tutorial guys as you can see it's a very very useful design right here I actually use this toggle system in another video as well. If you guys have seen my 3x3 piston door right here, you'll see that this also has a toggle system, which allows it to open and close on both sides. As you can see right here, there we go. As, if you want to see that, I'll put a card for the video in the top right of the screen right here. So if you want to watch that, then please click the icon on the top right so you can watch that video. But yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did find it useful and you are going to use it within your Minecraft world right here, then be sure to give me a like on the video. It'd be very, very much appreciated. And if you guys want to see more Minecraft Redstone, Minecraft tutorials, Minecraft content, then please subscribe to the channel so that you keep updated and also click the notification bell so that you uh, stay alert with any new videos that are coming out. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hope you have a nice day and I will see you guys next time.